Imagine a laser marking machine that operates at speeds of up to 7,000 mm per second on any material, with a laser beam diameter 30 times smaller than other laser marking machines of this type. The machine that can mark diamonds, perform color, mark stainless steel, titanium and copper, and is ideal for microchips and chips. This machine is the Watson UVTT and the main hero of today's review. Hi everyone, this is Verma. The first thing to note is that the most commonly used laser markers are fiber optic and CO2. They all have an infrared emission range of between 1060 and 10,600 nanometers. A nanometer is one millionth of a millimeter. One nanometer equals 0.000001 millimeters. And because of their wavelength, they are designed to work mainly with either non-metallic or metallic materials. So the range of materials that can be processed and the capabilities of such emitters are strictly limited. The Watson UVTT is fitted with an ultraviolet emitter. This technology is a little more sophisticated and the wavelength of this emitter is 355 nanometers. How does it help? First of all, a smaller spot diameter. For comparison, a UV laser with a wavelength of 355 nanometers has a spot 30 times smaller than a CO2 laser. Moreover, the laser radiation has a higher quantum energy, which increases the energy density of the laser beam. And because all this energy falls on a very small area, the output power density is extremely high. This opens up many new possibilities for marking and cold ablation, i.e. vaporizing the top layer of the material without damaging or deforming it, thanks to a smaller heat-affected zone. There are also almost no limits to the choice of materials, whether organic or inorganic. A little more about materials. The UV marker works on virtually all plastics, ABS, PVC, polybutylene terephthalate, polystyrene and many more. Rubber, silicon materials, everything is within its power. What is more, unlike its fiber optic counterpart, it does not destroy the structure of the material. When it comes to fragile materials, especially transparent ones, glass is the most popular from inexpensive soda calcium glass to high-quality borosilicate glass, tempered glass, optical tool glass, some types of reinforced glass. It handles them all with ease and gives good results. This is due to the small spot diameter. Why is this? It is simple. The minimal heat-affected zone reduces the heat load, so the micro cracks are as small and clean as possible. The Watson UV marker can also be trusted to mark precious stones, such as diamonds and sapphires. Other markers simply destroy them, but Watson UVTT is able to mark with pinpoint accuracy. Another advantage over a fiber optic or CO2 marker is the processing of copper. The UV marker is generally the only type of laser marker that can easily work with this material, despite the high reflection coefficient of copper. In addition, colored copper engraving can be achieved using a UV marker, as can colored engraving for stainless steel or titanium. When marking aluminium, almost perfect whites can be achieved. In general, UV laser wavelengths are perfectly absorbed by various metals. In addition to copper, it is possible to process ferrous and stainless steel, brass, nickel, titanium, precious metals such as silver, gold. The UV machine is also good for organic materials such as wood, leather and stone. Some even use it to mark fruit. The low power of the laser also makes it possible to mark some fabrics and paper. This is the unique feature of UV markers compared to other types of lasers. Fiber lasers do not react to paper at low power while burning it at high power, and CO2 lasers just burn it. A UV marker makes it possible to make legible dark marks on paper and to cut lace or patterns at higher power without burning the edges. Generally speaking, the full list of materials that the UV laser can work with is truly impressive. So without taking up too much of your time, let us move on to other benefits. Let us take it one step at a time. It produces high quality permanent images, serial numbers, barcodes, drawings, QR codes, logos of any complexity. UV laser images are resistant to most types of exposure, mechanical, thermal, acidic and alkaline environments. In addition, it does not produce relief as it is only suitable for marking. This is something to consider if you need deep engraving. Then opt for ytterbium fiber lasers for metals or a CO2 marker for non-metallic materials. The resolution of the UV marker is up to 500 dpi. 
The Watson UVTT is designed to run non-stop, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. The SCAD software virtually eliminates rejects. The software is easy to use and has a wide range of features. The marker requires no special working conditions or complicated maintenance. It can therefore be integrated into any production line. No additional consumables are required for the UV laser. Let us talk about ways of use and applications of the UV laser. In general, markers are used to mark symbols and images on various objects, tools, spare parts, souvenirs. However, the UV marker has more specific applications. It is suitable for precise machining of electronic components, marking of printed circuit boards and microchips, solar cells, precise marking of medical instruments and LED panels. Ultraviolet lasers are widely used for micro-machining and for working with metals, non-metals and fragile materials. Great for working with PCBs and flex boards. Used actively in cable manufacturing to mark the insulation of cables of all diameters and materials. And the good news for those concerned about the environment is that it is a completely safe method of handling materials. Verma offers a one-year warranty on the Watson UVTT marker. The service life of such equipment starts at 10 years, i.e. you can buy this marker and forget about buying any additional consumables for the next 10 years. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And don't forget that our in-house engineers are always on hand to help with commissioning and training. This is Verma. See you in future videos.